the Cimarron Valley Research Station in Perkins. Joining me is Dr. Sola Tagvian, uh, Extension Specialist in Irrigation. And uh, we're going to look at a tool that you're using in your grape studies to measure soil moisture. And what we're really looking at is water conservation. That's correct. Um, water is a very valuable resource, especially in parts of the world like Oklahoma. And we want to be as efficient as possible with water applications. And so we're applying this uh, tool in a research setting, but it's something that can be used in many different areas. That's correct. And um, some of these technologies, smart technologies like, uh, like uh, use of soil moisture sensors, they have really developed so far that are now available at very affordable prices. And you can use them effectively to not only be efficient with water application, but save on your water bill and energy bill as well. All right, well show us the product and tell me about it, how it works. Sure. Well, the soil moisture sensor that we have installed at this research site is called a watermark sensor. And it's basically a granular ma matrix uh, with two electrodes embedded in it. Uh, this matrix comes into equilibrium with the soil as the soil um, gets uh, higher in moisture, it reads a smaller resistance and we can then convert that to the soil moisture level. Okay, and in this research you have these pla uh, planted into the soil at the base of each plant. How deep do they get inserted? Um, here in this uh, field uh, we have installed the sensors at about 12 inches, mm -hmm. uh, right in the root zone of the grapes. Um, and the reason is we want to be able to monitor all the water extraction by the roots. Mm -hmm. So we'd want to keep that in mind depending on the type of plant is being That's used correct. with. And so this is constantly reading soil moisture, which is a little bit different than um, soil probes that are taking a one-time measurement. Um, and then you're actually logging all that data. That's true, yeah, that's, that's uh, one of the main advantages of these type of sensors. You can connect them to a data logger, such as the one that we have here, and they stay in the soil for very long times. Um, they have very low uh, power requirements, and you can come to the field with a push of a button, you can see a graph of soil moisture. So for example, you can see after irrigation or rain events, the uh, soil moisture level increased and it shows that the profile was almost full. After irrigation, it starts decreasing as the grapes extracted that water and water evaporated from the soil surface. So you can use different limits uh, to irrigate and those limits will uh, tell you if it's too soon to water or if it's too late or um, if it's just the right time. And so you'll set that lower limit and when the soil moisture gets to that whatever the critical value is, it's going to tell the irrigation system to turn on. Exactly, and it could be automatic to turn on a valve, or um, the operator could just check the graphs and uh, decide if it's time to turn it on or not. With grapes in particular, soil moisture is very critical, especially as the grapes go into maturity, right? That's correct. Um, depending on what the grapes are going to be used for, we want to reach a specific level of sugars, um, or taste or color in the grapes, and that requires a certain level of water stress. Um, technologies like soil moisture sensors can help us to make sure that we reach that a specific level of um, soil moisture and we maintain the high quality of grape. Well, I love to see new technologies that help us be better stewards of the environment. Thank you so much for sharing. My pleasure. <music>